sell-offs like this, but Lee, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you your reaction to what we're witnessing in the bond market with these yields, which continue to drop and set new record lows. The 10-year tonight at 110. Can stocks stabilize as long as yields keep falling? Well, the market is basically anticipating further, further Fed moves. And basically, uh, you know, um, it's, it, the bond market's got it right in that respect. But I would just make a comment. I made this comment on February 18th, actually, on your program. I said if the bond belongs at one and a half or one two or one one, whatever it is, you make four or five percent in the stock market a year. You don't make 15 or 20 percent. And the day I was on the program, the market was up five percent year to date. We're now, you know, we're now, we've now gone under 110, so it just gives you yeah, a kind of idea yeah, of the, yeah, the fear that's in the well, market. Well, let me ask you a question. A five-year bet, would you rather own the, the 10-year government bond yielding 1.1 percent, or would you rather own a common stock that now on average yields 2.2 percent? Yeah, I, I, a, a, I think it's a no-brainer. Right. It's a no-brainer. It's a no I want to get back to what I said before because I think we didn't give it enough time. We have to revisit – if you ask me – Cutting the rates or reinstating the uptick rule, I'd say reinstate the uptick rule. Rates are already low enough. Rates are not an imp impediment to companies to invest and do things. Okay? The, 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 the uptick rule was instituted in 1938 in response to the abuses of, uh, that occurred during the Great Depression. It served us well for 70 years. For some unexplainable reason, they eliminated it in 2007. That gave rise and aided and abetted a lot of these quantitative trading systems, which basically exaggerate moves up and down. Okay, the, in the last half hour on Friday, the S and P moved like a hundred handle points. That's just—it's not related to economics. Now, if you—you you know, and it's as simple as that. So, what does the SEC lose by announcing they're going to go to a 30, 60, 90-day trial period to reinstate the uptick rule to see what effect it has on markets, you, whether it makes markets more orderly? What do they lose? You've—you've you've mentioned many different historical markers uh, tonight. Uh, prior sell-offs in the market. You're talking about the uptick rule back to the, the time of the Depression. Tell One people... One thing that is... Tell, la the, only, the, the only... Look, relative to past bottoms I'm aware of, the market's still very expensive. The one place that's extraordinarily cheap is relative to interest rates. Okay, that's, that's the bugaboo. You know, if you look at price to book, we're the market bottom, dividend yields, things like that. We're very far away from those benchmarks. Okay. Where we're not, if you start booking an interest rate, the spread between, you know, dividend yields and a 10-year government bond is at a historical uh, favorable level relative for the equity market. And so, you know, you'll have to wait to see how this plays out. I don't think interest rates belong at these levels. They're, they're essentially screwing the uh, saver. Uh, how do you retire? You know, let me ask you a question. You're going to work very hard for the next 40, 50 years. Okay, when you go to your financial planner and you ask him, well, what can I assume I'm going to earn in my 2 or $3 million of savings over a lifetime, which is a high number for the average person, and he says to you, you're not going to earn anything of consequence. You can't afford to retire. You've got to keep working. Well, that also limits the ability of the young people to enter the labor force if the older people don't retire because they can't afford to retire. So I don't think we're doing anybody a favor by having these interest rate levels. I think we would be doing the right thing by reinstating the uptick rule. Lee, and, uh, your, your insights are valuable. I'm afraid I've, I've got to leave it there. We have, we have a lot we still want to get to in the final half hour of our special program good tonight. Good luck we, to we all of you. Don't be, on mar don't be on margin. Uh, just uh, know what you own and be patient.